Climber's matchup involves a lot of decent projectiles from Ice Climbers. The Ice Box and the okay. Wizards uh, make it really hard for Luigi to approach, so he usually has to use the platforms. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, in teams, Ice Climbers don't have the luxury of time to set up those desyncs. Okay. So Luigi can kind of move around much more freely and get in and forward tilt, like wave dash forward tilt beats out Ice Climbers uh, options, except for a Blizzard that already has to be out. But he can wave dash down smash. So he's going to be moving around a lot, and so it'll be interesting to see how Connor deals with that. Mm -hmm. So we're right into it on Yoshi's. Um, interesting choice. Uh, Falco just went for it. Um, that's Bambi just oh, went wow. for a shine, shine, up B on Nana. And it didn't connect because he got interrupted, but that's something that really only happens on this stage. But uh, as we saw... Um, oh, do we want to switch the names here? Oh, oh yeah, my bad. I think. <laughs> and then red. Go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, that's the one nice thing about uh, playing against Spacey's on Yoshi's is that they die really quickly, as the Falcos have both already lost their stocks. Oh, well, okay, I thought he was going to get the up <laughs> I don't think it would have killed. It was a little not quite high enough. Before Smash gets the kill on Ice Climbers. And the pizza has arrived. So the crowd will significantly diminish, but not due to lack of strong play. As Mang is going hard. See, yeah, like that down B, the Luigi Tornado, he can just kind of go in with that. He can, that. like, just beat everything other and than yeah, Blizzard. Yeah, because basically Ice Climbers either Blizzard that, um, or they might shield and then wave dash out of shield to shield grab. But if they're shielding and he does that to them, his his teammate can just hit them with something or grab them. Yeah. So it's hard to be ready for that. Old McDonald. double jumping a lot. No, wait, that's Franco. Thank you, the fan. Old McDonald. That's John Hadamia. Great trombone player and composer. Check out his music. <laughs> XD7 is the name of his band. He also has his own projects. But he's a great Luigi player watching this Luigi action as Mang is stock tanking for the red team right now. Oh, that up B was really interesting. Got him out of trouble, and he made the recovery. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just read the side being killed him up for it. Nice jab down smash. Connor kills everybody. Bread and butter. Mm -hmm. And he... Oh, wow. I, he, I, I think he thought that Nana had an extra jump. I just like still had their double jump, so he was waiting for them to try to jump to get on Randall. But by the time he went low enough... Uh, they didn't, and found out they didn't have their jump. His only option was to side B, and of course, when you side B and you hit the stage, you kind of bounce backwards, so yeah. you couldn't land on Randall. That's okay. an important thing with ice climbers. Playing ice climbers in teams, you have to be willing to just ignore Nana. Just let your backup climber die. Side B recovery, even if you could get an up B, unless you're 100% sure, because stuff like that okay. could happen. And that actually ended up being a closer match um, by the end. If he was still alive, get some early kills on Falco. Falco, of course, notorious for holding down <laughs> when he plays in neutral with the shines and the dares. So that could have been could have been big. So we'll see if Connor can figure that out. Ooh, that forward smash aimed the wrong direction. Didn't get the follow up, but it was good awareness. What do you think about this Connor pick? <laughs> um, so I think the platforms make a really big deal for Luigi. Mm -hmm. um, if if he doesn't have platforms to move around, then he can't, um, you know, be as aggressively moving around the stage, especially if you are on a platform. Um, so I'm sure they, the red team probably banned Final Destination. So this was their next choice. Yep. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this, which is why I'm surprised I went to Yoshi's in the first place, is that, um, ah, see, like right there, Connor was, he was waiting for Nana to get back. And he got killed because he was just standing there waiting to try to help them. Mm -hmm. But on this stage, Nana won't die as easily. Luigi can just kind of get like a down air, forward air, and Nana's already dead. Um. No, it's one more after that. So, so I, I, I do like this stage choice. Um, of course, the transformations are typically bad for ice climbers. The rock and fire transformation limits their ability to move. And well, they then, kind of limit everyone except spaces. So. That's true. That's true. Um, 
but just ice climbers are so slow and not very strong in the air. Like Luigi could at least go in the air and maybe like throw out a down air or forward air or an air and be safe. Okay. Ice climbers, they have to be very particular with their hitboxes. Because their aerial hitboxes are all pretty bad? Yeah, it's just like the, the back air is, is very small hitbox. Um, the up air is really good though, so that's okay. the thing. But the back air, it's, it's pretty telegraphed when you're going to use it because you have to be facing backwards. Uh, so you can't yeah. go in quickly with a back air without your opponent knowing that it's coming. Um, and then the water transformation, actually the, the slope on it can sometimes mess with the with Nana. Really? Where the, you'll try to wave dash on it and they'll just do a full jump. They won't register the wave dash. It happens on slopes sometimes. I don't know why that happens, but it does. Uh, but it is a tight battle. Um, I would say with, with these percents, it's virtually even. Oh, but then he gets team kill and gets off the stage too quickly. But that was a good down smash by Nana. Um, so it's almost even. Now the really clutch thing would be if they can just take advantage of Luigi being at a high percent by knocking him away and, and double teaming Falco. Falco. Yeah. yeah, real quick. Because there now Luigi comes back with a full stock. Um, and but if they were just, you just kind of play an even game at that point. Exactly. If they were able to double team Falco and get a kill on him then he would either share the stock and they could kill Luigi quickly or he would not share the stock and then they could Luigi just kill dies. Luigi quickly and then <laughs> have a 2v1. Luigi kills, I think that was Nana. Kills yeah. Nana, yeah. It's so weird because like Nana's pink and so you think he's on the red team. Ooh. Oh wow. Good Instant ramen noodles from Mang. Charges his down B just in case. And a solid 2-0. Uh, close games, but the score does indicate otherwise. I think that... <laughs> so now Bambi and Mang just kind of like... They kind of controlled the pace a little. Not like dominantly, but they always like stayed in the lead, more or less. Yeah. I think Luigi give damage given 666. <laughs> I think really like one of the most important things about ice climbers and teams is that they have to be more safe. They have to hold their stocks. Mm -hmm. If Falco gets in trouble, ice climbers can't really get there to help because they can get there quickly. They can cover the ground, but once they get there, they can't really go in with any aggression. Mm -hmm. And you know, if they throw out an attack, it, usually their attacks won't like really break things up uh, in a in a uh, net positive way. It might just hit everyone at best. Mm -hmm. So. So you have to be like more safe with climbers and kind of keep a little closer to your teammate. Um, 